Hey guys, good morning and welcome to Wake Up Missoula. I'm your host, Scott Ramp. We have a lot to talk about. We have a lot of guests, so I'm going to try to get through a lot of this as soon as possible. I got Heidi West here. She's here to talk about the um, NMCDC, um, the outdoor cinema that's happening in Missoula on the north side. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about that. We got um, Jesse Rogers from the Historic Museum at Fort Missoula talking about Fourth at the Fort. Um, we have a lot of news. We got a lot of weather. I have a lot of clips for you guys, including some um, awesome clips that some of the kids have made during this camp's week. So I'll get to that in a wee bit. So let's talk a little bit, a little bit about weather. You can expect a little bit of, of a breeze today. Um, you have that high of 76. It's already fairly warm outside. It's fair, 64 degrees outside. It's just a nice, perfect morning to get out and about. You can expect a nice little breeze happening later today. Um, you're going to be uh, low 47 degrees. Thursday is going to be really nice and 74 degrees. You can expect a really perfect day to go out and about for your Thursday. Um, f um, 46 for your low. Friday, your high is going to be 73. It's going to be mostly sunny, um, but then by Friday, there's that 20% chance of thunderstorms. Then it's going to be partly cloudy, and then Saturday is going to be mostly sunny, so you can expect great weather happening for your summer solstice. Um, let's see. Moving on, um, we, li we have some news items that are happening. Uh, besides summer camps starting in, um, uh, summer camps have started this week at uh, Missoula Community Access Television, Missoula's Community Media Resource. I have to say all that stuff. Um, we This is our media camp. This is the first of five camps that we'll be hosting. All camps are full. Next week we'll be doing Raptors of the Rocky. This week we're doing media camp. Uh, tomorrow at uh, 4.45, we'll be doing a nice little live cut-in for any of you who are interested in seeing what the kids' progress is. I'll have a little tease video for you guys today here as well to kind of show you what some of the kids have been working on. Media Camp is mostly just kind of like an all-encompassing uh, media thing. So kids have been making movies, doing some podcasting, and today we're going to be going on a lot of different trips in and around the Missoula area looking at many different uh, television stations and media platforms that the kids can experience. Last uh, Yesterday, we went on the Pea Green Boat Show, and I want to thank Annie Gard from the KUFM for hosting us. Um, let's see. Okay, so let's talk about some news. Um, uh, and besides summer camps and starting this week, there's a lot of things actually going on in Missoula, but uh, with more than uh, 24 potential candidates, uh, but fewer than 100, uh, the president's job at the University of Montana campus is underway for searching for folks. Um, Sheila Stearns, who, uh, who's the interim president since December 2016, when Commissioner of Higher Education Clayton Christian asked that the UN President Royce Engstrom steps down to make way for a new leadership on campus. Engstrom will teach in this chemistry department and will search, and the search is underway for a new potential president. McCormick said enrollment and finances are the top issue potential candidates ri rise when th they talk with him. So far, none of the people with whom he has spoken have asked about UM's handling of the rape allegations. Um, as you may already know, that the university is looking to buy professors out of their tenure, and so far are unable to keep up with some of the budget cuts. I and also, they had a huge um, t um, enrollment um, since uh, since 2012. Uh, there's been over 20% of less students that enrolled at the University of Montana, so they're trying to co combat that by rolling back the budget and cutting uh, some programs as well. Um, so, so far, uh, related, um, released on Tuesday, the American College President Study in 2017 also identified the profile of a typical university president as a white male in his early 60s with a doctoral degree who has been in his current position for seven years. Um, so. Um, one of the things that they're trying to do is they're looking for candidates and they're trying to and they are open for non-conventional candidates as president at the University of Montana. Um, in the state news, Senator John Tester openly criticizes the GOP for uh, se for their secret drafting of the American Health Care Act. This new health care uh, is being put into place will affect Montanans who have fought to get a uh, Medicaid expansion and with the use of ACA, also known as the Ob Obamacare, according to Montana Health Care Foundation, more than 77,000 people in m on Medicaid would lose coverage under the House bill and the state would lose 4. $8 billion from 2020 through 2026 as federal Medicaid support was um, drowned down. In national news, um, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell says Republicans will release a discussion draft of their version of the health care bill on Thursday with the vote likely next week. Private health care uh, talks have been underway in the Senate for weeks. McConnell uh, tapped a 13-member working group last month to hash out senators' differences over the House 
passed American uh, American Health Care Act after the uh, House passed the AHCA in early May. Leading senators uh, asserted that the uh, Senate would go on their way. We're writing a Senate bill and not passing the House bill. Uh, Senator Lamar Alexander, from um, Republican from Tennessee, said, um, "We'll take whatever good ideas we find there that meet our goals." The Senate has not held any public hearings on the health care bill. Senators um, involved in the talks have been tight-lipped on the uh, on the on the substance, and the public will only have a few days to see it before it goes to a senator uh, floor vote. So. Um, that's basically it that's going on in and around Missoula. I have an art clip for you guys, and I got Heidi West uh, waiting to be on the show. So when we come back, we'll have Heidi West on. Hey guys, I'm back here with Heidi West, and she's here to talk about outdoor cinema with uh, the North Missoula, Missoula Community King. Development yes. Corporation. Mm -hmm. So thanks for mm -hmm. letting me be on the show. Um, I work for the North Missoula Community Development Corporation, and we have a couple of cool activities going on this summer, one of which is our, it's our 15th year of having the Missoula Outdoor Cinema. And so to celebrate this year, we're showing 15 movies, which means that part of the summer, we have a Friday night and a Saturday night uh, movie show showing, and our first one is on July 8th. Um, it's going to be Stand By Me, but the first movie that I'm really excited about is July 15th, which is the Creature of the um, Creature of the Black Lagoon, and it's in 3D, and we ordered a bunch of those fun red and blue glasses to make the, you know, movie come alive <laughs> in. So it's going to be in 3D? 3D. Is it a black and white movie? You know, I don't know. I've never seen it. I so think it, they've, been, they've remade that movie half a dozen times. So it's the 3D <laughs> version. That's all I know. Um, and some other things we have going on this summer is that we have a drop-in program um, all summer long that runs Monday through Thursday at the in the same space that is the uh, Burn Street Bistro during, you know, like lunch and breakfast right. hours. Um, and so that uh, is from 3 to 6, Monday through Thursday, and it has, it's also a dinner site um, in partnership with the Missoula Food Bank. Um, and then the other thing that I wanted to highlight real quick is that we have a community dinner coming up that's free and open to the public. Um, and it's on the 25th, Sunday the 25th from 6 to 8. Um, and the whole point of this is for us to all get together and get to know our neighbors and build community um, just to make Missoula stay the amazing place it is cool. so and you guys uh so the outdoor cinema thing is kind of like your trademark you kind of like your thing to get people to come out and join you guys uh it's every pretty much every saturday night yeah it runs from july through the first weekend in september and it's definitely i think the thing that we're most known for in missoula um what we what our core uh thing is that we do is actually develop permanently affordable housing. Um, so we have a community land trust and we have 47 units in that land trust that are mostly on Missoula's north side. They're kind of between. Yes, I was on the bus tour. Yeah, And Russell. you have a bunch of brand new houses there. Oh no, oh, not those, those ones? Those are not those. So ours are between 
Russell and Madison Street. Um, we have some right by the Russell Street Bridge, which is um, Clark Fort Commons. And right. We have, well, we have all the ones right by Burn Street Bistro, since people know where that space. And this is a and this event is also kind of like this is uh, kind of like a gathering event, but it's uh, also a way to get out information about absolutely. people. Absolutely. Like, hey guys, you know we also have all these uh, community building activities. Right programs to help anybody who needs the help when they need it. Yes, and we also have great community partners that use that opportunity to get out the word about them, and MCAT is one of them. Mm -hmm. So you guys are one of our sponsors and have been for many years. Um, and another thing, you know, Missoula in Motion, for example, uses our um, sponsorship reel as an opportunity to educate people about how to share the road with bikes and cars and proper bike etiquette. And so it's a great tool to not only, you know, build community and hang out with your neighbors and have a free thing to do on a Saturday night, um, but also to, you know, get public education and um, opportunities out there. So, And I'm yeah. showing the website as well. So yeah. um, people can go on to NMCDC. Dot org yep. to find out more information and what's a good place they can navigate through like is there like anything particular that you want to kind of show um obviously the the one that probably is most relevant right now is that lineup um for the movies this summer um and then there's also under programs you can also look up the kids club um for example this thursday the zach is coming and they're gonna do um so it's yeah if you go down scroll down um, one more. Oh. Go up one. There you go. Oh, Kids Club. That's right. There it is. So, Burn Street Kids Club. Um, we have a schedule up uh, for that as well. And you can go come by anytime. Just sign a little bit of paperwork before you leave your kids. So, and, this is uh, for like any time for any kids? Any kids. We uh, Nice little activity for them, for yes. them, for them to do when uh, the parents are just like, uh, don't you have you school today? I was like, uh, can you guys just not be here? <laughs> need mental breaks, you know. Uh, you know, and so this is a great uh, place. We have two amazing staff um, that have been just great, and then we also have some additional programs. So they, they'll do crafts with your kids, they'll um, set up the dinner, they'll have those activities, and then on top of that, we have additional programs that come in. So the Roxy was here last week. Ooh. Zach is coming in this week. They come back several times during the summer. Animal Wonders was yesterday, Aww. so that one's over. Um, but there's lots of things going on. We have some field trips planned to the Moon Randolph Homestead. Wow. And Parks and Rec helps us out with that. Um, they provide transportation. They're amazing. Um, and then we also have um, you know a big party at the end of the year. Great. That, or end of the summer that anyone can come to. So, so once again, um, you're... All the movies basically start are going to be starting in July. Yep. And they happen at sundown, or maybe a little bit after sundown. A little bit after sundown, as soon as it gets dark enough for us to see the screen. And what school is it at? So, oh, good. <laughs> That's important. It's at Whittier School, which is on the north side, um, and is also known as Head Start. So. Cool. Yeah. So, and if people want to find more information, they can go to. I would just go to the website or our Facebook page. Um, the website has everything, you know, if you're on Facebook, it's easy enough to search for the North Missoula Community Development Corporation. Um, or you can just go to the nmcdc.org. Cool. And all the information is on both places. So. Well, thanks, Heidi. Thanks for having me. And we'll be right back. We have Jesse Rogers on the show, so stay with us. All right.
Hey guys, welcome back. We're here with Jesse Rogers from the Historic Museum at Fort Mozilla. Yes. Yep. And I, I don't know why I went up in inflection. I just was like, well, let's just do it. Okay. <laughs> let's just do it. All right. So you are here to talk about Fourth at the Fort. Yes. It is the 41st annual Fourth at the Fort celebration. It's an awesome family fun, just old fashioned get together. And we have a lot of great events this year. We've completely changed up our uh, music lineup. So we have live bands all day long. And we also have, you know, a beer garden. We've got about seven, I think six or seven food trucks this year, because last year we had so many folks show up having such a great time that the food trucks like sold out. Really? Yeah, we wow. sold out of food. So we've got some new food vendors coming this year. We have a lot of fun just farm animals from the FFA kids, the Missoula Ag Ed Department. We have Teeny Winks miniature ponies so the kids can ride around. As you can see, aren't they adorable? Mm -hmm. I love the little ponies. Of course, the Northwest Regional Steam Engine and Tractor Club come in and they have their show every year. So there's just. A, that's like the Ferrari of it, the tractors. There are some nice tractors. I mean, these guys get serious. And of course, the kids' games, we have tons of youth programs and games out at the homestead activities and you know like you see the kids really get into it they appreciate it they have a good time and we also have a lot of community sponsors this year so they'll be coming with awareness booths and games like you know cornhole and ring toss and big sky breakout will be there with their breakout games so lots of fun from everyone from toddlers to older gents having a good time ladies can enjoy all of the fun festivities we've got vendors and it's just a yeah. fun day and uh fort missoula is a huge area where it people is. can just like if they don't want to be part of the main thing they mm -hmm. can go off and do all sorts of other activities yes so we're in general the museum is a 32 acre park so when you have several thousand people out there, it doesn't feel like it. Because if you want to bring a picnic, lunch, and a blanket, you can go and sit in the field and watch the little ground squirrels play and see foxes or cranes or herons and just hang out and have a good time. If the kids want to play in the jungle gym across the way, the new Fort Missoula Regional Park has a whole playground area. So there's tons to do. And we just have a really good time with it. As you can see, we've got some horse rides wagon rides that we do uh, all of the living history will be going on so a lot of the different buildings around the ground the fire lookout Drummond Depot the ham radio guys they'll all be living history demonstrations so that's another fun thing to <coughs> walk around we've got scavenger hunts going on for adults and kids you can win a free beer at the beer garden cool. if you you know <laughs> now for the kids the kids don't get the free beer they get like the frisbee or something like, mommy mommy I want your free beer yeah there you go <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. As you see, we got some great sponsors this year. Family Heritage Insurance, Hospice Care Foundation, Pepsi, where Byron gives us the beer every year. So, Aww. you know, it's really good beer and they're a great supporter. Um, we just have so much going on that the community really gets behind us. So I don't even really have to go out and work for sponsors. They're just like, <coughs> we know try. this is a great event. We want to be there. It's been going on for four decades, and it's just a really great day. Cool. So pancake breakfast starts at 8, and that's put on by the Church of Latter-day Saints, and that goes from 8 to 11. It's <coughs> $5 for adult, $15 for the family, and that includes admission for the day. So you can have, sit down, have a huge breakfast, and go and enjoy all the activities. The museum admission is waived for the day, so you can go in and check out our new exhibit, which is Missoula's home front supporting the war efforts during the Great War, World War I, because this is the 100th year anniversary of the U.S. entering World War I. And this is a really cool exhibit because it talks about, basically, Instead of the war, it talks about what were we doing at the home front? What were the women doing, the kids doing, the propaganda? <coughs> what music were we listening to? What? I'm it, so sorry. It's okay. I'm a, uh, man, I, I've been there. I came back Allergies with a cough from my cough. vacation. Oh. <laughs> Don't you love that? <laughs> it's just like it's just like it's just like awful now. Yeah, and it's pr probably not helping with the allergies that have really been going on this year yeah. too. But it's a great event. 
Um, you can go to Facebook. That's the best way to find stuff out about us because we're overhauling our website. So Historical <laughs> Museum at Fort Missoula, you can see all of our events. That's the big steam case locomotive that will be running the steam engine sawmill. And you can just come in, have a good time, enjoy yourself. It's uh, not very expensive, you know, it's basically $15 for a family day and $5 per person and that gets you into all the activities. Bring lunch or buy lunch and that's basically all you have to do. Cool. So it's just a fun time, come on down, 4th of July, it is literally on the 4th of July, 4th of 4th of July. Yep, and it happens from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Yep. You can find out more information by going to your guys' Facebook page, mm -hmm. but also you can call... Uh, Call us at the museum, 728-3476, yeah, hmm? brain fart, 3476. You can talk to any of us there, we all kind of know what's going on, we're a small crew, we all get together to make this happen. And definitely one of my favorite exhibits that they have at the uh, at the Fort Missoula Field is the old schoolhouse. Yes! I love the old schoolhouse, it's, it's such it, a great thing. It's a neat one. And if you, um, if you don't, if it, the, what better excuse do you guys get to go? to the Fort Missoula than the 4th at the Fort, which is the 41st annual. So mm -hmm. they've been doing this for quite a while. We kind of got it dialed in. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, we know what we're doing by now, no. hopefully. <laughs> I also like uh, sometimes when you do those apple days and yep. they, so you can, uh, so are you doing it yet or not yet? It will be in September or fall. Season. Yep, yep, with the apple cider pressing and it's kind of a miniature version of the 4th at the Fort celebration. We try to make it fun and that is a free event, so that's just a community event and that will be happening in September 16th, I believe. So that's another thing to look forward to mm -hmm. is the HMFM Fall Festival and again, it's going to be a great time and we'll hopefully see you guys out there for all of our events because check us out on Facebook. We've got a lot going on, a lot of summer learning loss programs so you can bring the kids and they can do all sorts of scavenger hunts or learn how to telegraph right. or World War One airplanes and <coughs> we've got the Free Junior Docent Camp starting next week I want to wow. say and that will be the training week and then it runs all summer long kids can learn to be docents and come out and build skills and of course we've got history camp which um, sign up is by July 15th and it's just a fun is week it, what what times are they for the camp uh, nine to four every day wow yeah long days long days but the kids really enjoy it they get to go like to Moon Randolph, they get to go to the Ag Ed program, sometimes they go out to Dunroden Ranch, they get to work at the homestead, then the final grand finale is they literally make a homestead dinner for their friends and family at the fort and using the uh, ice cream that they made at the homestead, using the vegetables that they dug up at the farm, you know, using everything that they have learned, hmm. they make a real homestead meal. That's awesome. And the kids love it. Okay, so once again, uh, Fourth of the Fort is happening Fourth of July, from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. They have an 8 a.m. pancake, pancake breakfast. breakfast. Um, also, uh, just be aware that they have construction going on at Fort Missoula Regional Park, so that you know, like that throughway that's across from Big Sky High School, because I always use that all the time. It's actually open. Missoula. Is it open now? Yeah, we have a roundabout, it and it's like we don't have a triple detour this year. It's epic. That's awesome. You can actually really just get to us. And the parking is going to be a lot easier this year. We still got parking in the backfield, but the regional park is open, so we'll be able to park there. Uh, we are charging admission on the road to Good. make it easy for folks. So you come in on any of the three ways to get to the fort, and you'll see the FFA students collecting admission. They get a percentage of that awesome. admission. So, I mean, it is really a community event. All right. Well, thanks, Jesse, for joining me. Yeah. Uh, we have a lot more show happening for you guys, so stay with us, and we'll be right back right after this. But so you have a black and white, and are those on plywood? Yeah, you can see here's some various stages you can see over here. It's like uh, I I cut out the pieces with a scroll saw, um, and I never really know what they're going to be exactly. It's more just like a shape that feels satisfying. You know, like I know this is going to be some kind of architectural structure with legs and this will be some kind of creature with a house on his back but the the details you, all kind of come out you put a, a ground or surface on there? yeah so this is the next the next phase is i i lay down paper on it and press it and oh. then i use an exacto knife so it fits perfectly oh. for public assistance that comes from our taxpayer dollars many of these people would not make it at all so perhaps it goes without saying that prior to the affordable care act most caregivers did not have access to health care. That's why in 2009, 
We organized and we fought like hell to pass the Affordable Care Act. Now the end product wasn't perfect. We knew it wasn't going to be perfect. Nothing as complex as health care reform is going to be perfect the first time around. But it started a conversation. It expanded health coverage to millions of people who did not have it previously. It set in place some basic consumer protections. And it put us on a path to fight for universal health care for every man, woman, and child in this country. Unique because what it has on it are Rudy's footprints. <laughs> From his, he had little feet, and his little feet, tennis shoes, are all over those women. <laughs> so indelible. Um, so you need to know that about your grandparents. It's it's an incredible gift. This is this um, show. The only way I can explain my response to this amazing gift that the museum and the family has given us is that um, it's sort of, they're sort of like, uh, these pieces are like icebergs. They are just the tip of profound underlying relationships that you can't see. You just see evidence of them here. Hey guys, welcome back. Those are some of the new programs that are going to be airing on MCAT. If you're interested in um, finding out more about those programs and other programs on MCAT, you can log on to MCAT.org. But if you want to find out more information about Wake Up Missoula, you can log on to wakeupmissoula.wixsite.com slash wakeupmissoula. Um, and hopefully I won't be coughing for the rest of this show. Um, but I do have a lot of clips I have to show you guys. Um, well, actually, I get to show you guys. Um, one of my kids uh, in my um, media camp this week, his name's Alex Miller, and he did uh, tell us something last night. And uh, the theme is The Road. I think it's the road we walk on. So, uh, so without further ado, here's a little taste of his um, tell us something presentation. So, mom is in a panic, thinking, "Oh my God, did the was the car stolen? Was it towed? Because it was one of those pay to park places." She can't get a call out to anyone with a dead phone, so she's thinking, "Okay, maybe." We can pedal around, find a restaurant, a bar, with someone who has a 30-pin charger for her iPhone 6, or 4S. <laughs> and before this plan comes to fruition, I notice, or I remember, that there were two parking lots. So, my mom's like, oh my god, you're so right. So we right around <laughs> the, the restaurant, and the car is there, thank God. <laughs> she is amazed she did not get a ticket. So we load up in near silence, wet, from a, com from a combination of rainwater and sweat, hungry, and cold. So we load up, have the heater and the heated seats on because I rode shotgun. We arrive back at, our, at my great grandma's house, which is where we were staying. She's mad because we didn't tell her where we were going or when we were going to be back. So she was about to call search and rescue after us. <laughs> so we have a dinner just reheated dinner, which is probably one of the best meals I will ever have. <laughs> because this may come as a shock, cliff bars and applesauce, those are not meals. <laughs> those are snacks. And we go to bed, and now, and this bike ride is over, we now use this to compare any sucky experience we have. At least it's not a 30 mile bike ride, right? <laughs> Thank you. So uh, good job to Alex for that nice little uh, anecdotal story that uh, t a mini uh, tell us something um, people did. He was the only kid to do a tell us something with the adults last night. So um, 
let's talk about some of the summer camp stuff. So this week we've been having a bunch of summer camp stuff happening. Um, first day we basically said, here's a camera, here's how you edit some video stuff, and let's let you guys go out and film something with that. So Monday was all about getting everything you need to know about um, basically short-term filmmaking, um, quick editing, quick everything to get together. Yesterday we went to podcasting and we learned everything we need to know about like radio and that kind of thing. And then from there we uh, transitioned into going to the Pea Green Boat Show. Annie Gard hosted us at the KUFM. Um, and yeah, the kids got a chance to be on the radio and talk about their experiences at media camp, which was only two days old at that time. So today we'll be going to uh, um, ABC Fox, uh, KT KGVO, uh, I believe. Don't don't quote me on that. Uh, <laughs> and we'll be uh, then from there we'll be going to Town Square Media, and we'll be basically getting tours of how other um, stations operate. So it's a nice experience for the kids to uh, learn and figure out maybe they can get inspired by one of these many different avenues of media. So uh, by Thursday it's going to be mostly just a work and editing day, kind of clean up everything that they've done so far. And then Friday will be kind of like a nice little party day, maybe free film day, and we'll finish it off with a premiere of all the movies and all the videos that kids have made this week uh, at 5 p.m on channel 189 and we'll be able and we'll also post it online on our uh, YouTube channel along with all sorts of other things as well so uh, without further ado I do uh, have another brand new tell uh, not tell us something but I have a brand new dub and stuff um, and this is featuring the movie Phantom from Space all right boys you're right this way uh, will you stop doing that uh, okay which way do you go right. sir I think he's around here somewhere all right Oh, there he is! Wee Get him, boy! I said stop that! Hello! Oh no, they're going to catch me. And I can't rule the planet. I mean, research them. He's around this way, guys. Yeah, we know. We just saw him going here. <laughs> Hopefully that piece of wood holds up. Yeah. Whew! Boys, I can hear him stripping in there. That alien monster is going down. Oh, 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 that feels so good. Now what my alien mama used to say, you always gotta fold your clothes. <laughs> All right, boys. Oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, I said oh, stop that. I'm invisible. I'll just stand right here. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Nope, not standing right here. Did you hear that? Actually, I'm a visual learner. I think you're standing right there. That's stupid. I can't see him. Guys, shut up and pay attention to me. Oh, look at this thing. It's his helmet and his... Uh, 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 Unitard, uh, sir. What'd you just call me? Please, not from the camera guy. Well, as you can see, it's a helmet and a unitard thing. Wait a minute, he has a camera. Freedom of the press, son. But you won't have that freedom without the military. Now get on out of here. As you can see, this Geiger counter says that... Uh, do you know how to read a Geiger counter? I'm afraid not, kid. Eh, uh, they're just gonna stand there and do nothing? Uh. Wait a minute, my fedora's tingling. Uh, well, maybe you should see a doctor. Huh, good idea. Uh, I'm still getting nothing. <coughs> Hack! Uh, what do you think is going on here? <laughs> oh, how embarrassing. I forgot to turn it on. <laughs> uh, well, this is quite a conundrum. Shut up. <laughs> Sorry. Well, uh, I guess we'll just take it away. Well, you think so, do you? Good news. The fedora tingling is no problem whatsoever. All right. Put it in that box and put it, take it away. Eh, these humans are stupid. Hey guys, welcome back. Let's talk about some of the events that are happening in and around Missoula. We're kicking things off with the Ed Norton Big Band at Out to Lunch starting at 11 a.m. and pretty much going on until 2 p.m. So you guys can go to Karis Park. It's just uh, under the Higgins Bridge. You can't miss it. It's right there, and they have a bunch of food um, uh, activities for kids. Um, this is also, let's see, it's the Community Medical Center is sponsoring it, Advanced Imaging, and Berkshire Hathaway. Um, Out to Lunch is a concert series and featuring musicians 
over 20 varied food vendors. Ooh, 20. So you can um, you can enjoy Montana's longest running festival every Wednesday in June, July, and August from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. You got flower painting at the Family's First Children Museum happening from 11 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. Flowers make dandy paintbrushes, and those paintbrushes create beautiful works of art. You got slime at the Spectrum Discovery Center. Uh, Spectrum Discovery Area is open for visitors of all ages to explore science through um, Engaging ex exhibits and activities, please join for the new location at 812 Tool Avenue. And this is at uh, $3.50 for anyone four and over. If you're under three, you get in free. Um, so kids table at the library. So these are for kids who are under 18 years of age. And they do this in the large meeting room. And they provide free lunches for kids. So if you... Uh, have a kid or you're a kid watching this right now because you know there's no school going on and you're under the age of 18 you have free lunch happening at the Missoula Public Library large meeting room starting at 11:30 p a.m. why did I say p.m. whoo Windows 10 so if you guys are still at the library you can learn Windows 10 public library whoo farmer <laughs> <laughs> There's basically not much to say. You get to learn what's all about Windows 10, and remember, you got to hit uh, the Windows button so you can get a task. Because sometimes you don't see the lower task bar right there. And it's like, oh, how do I do anything? Okay, remember, hit the little Windows key. It's like, oh, thank you, thank you. Uh, <laughs> And that's happening at 12:30 uh, p.m. at the Missoula Public Library. Farmers Field Day grazing um, for soil health, and there's Oxbow Cattle Company is doing. Um, rancher Bart Morris will talk about the grazing management approach he uses to build soil health on Oxbow. Um, cattle company pastures. They visit several locations and see how they tailor to his strengths and fit his uh, specific condition of each piece of ground. Then they will all enjoy a potluck together. CFAC field days are geared towards people who are just at the beginning of their farm exploration. A very posh Lu Lulu Row pop-up event is at Imagination Brewing Company. You'll be perfectly pampered from head to toe. Uh, with perfectly posh and lala ruse, um, from the delightful sense of the velvet fabrics, you'll be indulged in everything from body butter, chunk bath soap. So it's basically all sorts of like um, good smelly stuff happening at Imagination Brewing Company at 5 p.m. You got roller skate fun and fitness at the Missoula Fairgrounds, limited time only. Roller skating inside the fairgrounds is only happening for six weeks because um, usually they have. Um, um, like ice r ice skating and that stuff going on there as well pretty much year round and this is happening from 6 to 10 p.m. happening on the 21st and then they won't have it again until July 4th, 5th, 10th, 12th, 18th, and 19th and those are basically it for the roller skating uh, and fitness fun activities happening at the Missoula County Fairgrounds. And that's basically every one of those days from 6 to 10 p.m. Um, up next, we got Montana Wildlife Federation's Public Land Open House region. It's at the Region 2 uh, Fish, Wildlife, and Park offices. Um, this happened at 6 p.m. The Wildlife Federation are hosting an open house to discuss public lands, their management, and the public land transfer threat. Soda and snacks will be provided. Uh, most of the threat is basically transferring federal lands to um, state lands, but then, of course, state lands won't be able to afford uh, hiring people to keep upkeep the public lands. Therefore, they end up selling them to private owner ownership. That's kind of like the that's kind of like the short end of it. There's more to it than that, but that's the short end. Uh, Sean McDaniel and Alec Sizak will be at the Shakespeare and Company talking about their novels. Their uh, Billings novelist Sean McDaniel will read from his new book, Criminal Zoo. He'll be joined by Missoula's own Alec Sizak reading from his own novella, Down on the Street, at 7 p.m. Um, this is uh, there. He was born in um, Sean McDaniel was born in Colorado. He grew up on the plains of southwestern New Mexico. At the age of 25, he founded the Plaza Fitness Health Club and is also a contributing editor for Muscle Mag International. He lives in Billings, Montana, and is here for a reading at Shakespeare and Company. Alex Exact will be is a writer and filmmaker I from Indianapolis. He is an author of Between Jerez and El Paso, uh, Manifesto, Destina Destination, and the collection of short stories, Crooked Roots. He is also the editor of the fiction journal Pulp Modern. So that's basically what's happening for your Wednesdays. Um, I do, let's see, should I just, yeah, that's just, I'll just go quickly through over Thursday and then I'll have a, uh, a nice little clip from the, uh, just like a nice little tease from our, our media camp this week. So I'll, 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 I'll keep going for your Thursday events. Uh, Tiny Tales for anybody who um, wants to have their younger kids who want to, who are in the process of learning to read. It's happening 10.30 a.m. at the Missoula Public Library. 
and you guys can stay after for the free lunch for the kids 18 and under at 11.30 again because this is happening Monday through, through Friday at the Missoula Public Library hosted by the Missoula Food Bank. Um, meditation for veterans is at the 1 p.m. at the uh, Learning Center at Red Willow. So veterans get to go in and learn meditation, learn breathing uh, techniques, and help with some veterans who have issues with anxiety and PTSD. And it's a nice little meditation at the Learning Center at Red Willow happening Thursday at 1 p.m. Big Sky Branch Drop and Crafts. So at Big Sky High School, they're doing a uh, thing at the library where you get to do a drop-in crafting event. It's from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. You can call 728-2400, extension 8605 for more information, but of course you can always call 728-2400 and you can ask about this and they will direct you accordingly. Um, Roly Pulley Races, Minnesota Insectarium is doing a activity where they do hands-on learning with some um, um, crustaceans known as Roly Pulleys. Uh, wait, wait. Yeah, crustaceans. Um, they will be conducting an experiment to see how these adorable isopods survive our Montana winters. So, so you can stop by between um, 3 and 5 p.m. You got good old fashioned happening at Karis Park. This is downtown tonight. Downtown tonight is happening every single Thursday at 5.30 p.m. Um, good old fashioned um, is a band. It's, um, yeah, and they're going to be uh, children's activities will be Animal Wonders. So uh, from where you hear from Heidi West is that Animal Wonders tours around the town um, expressing and uh, showing off uh, their w um, unique and uh, exotic animals to help uh, protect these animals. A lot of these animals cannot be reintroduced into uh, their old original habitats, so Animal Wonders takes it upon them to uh, feed and take care of these animals, but they always are looking for do donations so they can keep these birds uh, for educational purposes and to protect their natural habitat. So um, sponsored by Advanced Imaging Community Medical Center, Trail West Bank. So all sorts of great things happening downtown tonight. It happens every Thursday from 5.30 to 8.30 p.m. And I believe it will be going on until the early weeks of September. So you have plenty of chances to see all these events and all uh, and more and you can log on to downtown missoula.org uh, i believe or missoula downtown let's see downtown missoula let me just double check just hold on a second i'll get there mm. All right, all right, all right. I'll, I'll give up. <laughs> it's MissoulaDowntown.com. Yes, MissoulaDowntown.com is where you can find all the resources and also upcoming events. And they also have a, uh, a link to Missoula events on their webpage as well. So all you got to go do is MissoulaDowntown.com to learn all about downtown tonight, out to lunch, and more. But also you can go to MissoulaEvents.net to find out all your needs on what's happening in and around Missoula. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for all your events. I have another fun little short video for you guys, um, again, with the kid that I just showed you earlier in the show, Alex Miller. I am the ultimate wizard! Your wizardry is nothing compared to my sorcery. I am so powerful, I don't even need a wand! <laughs> Yeah, nice little short movie that the kids made. Um, I don't know if it's complete or not, but I just wanted to give you a little tease of what you guys can expect for the Friday final premiere of all the movies and all the stuff that kids have made this week. So uh, that pretty much does it for Wake Up Missoula. Um, thanks for joining me this morning. Thanks again to Heidi West. Outdoor Cinema starts in July. It happens at Hawthorne School on the north side, which is uh, now Head Start. Um, if you look it up, you can find it. Outdoor Cinema, again, the website is nmcdc.org, which is North Missoula um, Community Development Corporation. 
Yes, that is actually correct. Um, but also go to, and also uh, Jesse Rogers uh, came once again. Thank her again. The uh, for, fourth at the fort is happening 4th of July. Um, and it's going to be from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. at Fort Missoula Regional Park. No, not Fort Missoula Regional Park. Historic Museum at Fort Missoula. They have a lot of area. Go to the main building, and it's in that area. The, the actual museum part it, and the offices and stuff, that's where, their, that's where their central location is. And you can find parking around that general area. A lot of the uh, open ways are through there. You can find out by going on to their Facebook page, Hicks Historic Museum at Fort Missoula. You can find out more information about me by logging on to wakeupmissoula.wixsite.com slash wakeupmissoula. Be sure to subscribe to me on YouTube, like me on Facebook, and follow me on Twitter for everything you need to know about what's happening in and around Missoula in terms of events and fun little things that are happening um, and, and, and reflecting a lot of the summer camps and fun kid videos that a lot of the kids have made along the way. Uh, and also MCAT.org is a great resource where you can find out more information. Our orient Orientation is every second Wednesday of the month. Um, we have a bunch of summer camps happening, and our public hours are from 5 to 8 p.m. Tuesday through Friday for the next two weeks, this week and next. And then we're back to regular hours for the first week of July. We will probably be taking off July 4th, that particular day, off. Um, but you can assure, be sure that we'll be open all other regular days for um, Missoula Community Access Television where our open hours, our regular hours are from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. If you want to learn more information, MCAT.org. If you want to call us, our number is 542-6228. Thanks for joining me. And for Wake Up Missoula, I'm Scott Ramph.